Well, in the oceans, things are really heating up in a really weird, terrible way. It's just, it's really dark, okay? I wanna give you some numbers of how much heat has been added to the ocean that are gonna blow your mind. So there's a new study, it was published this Monday, it shows that the Earth's oceans reached the highest temperatures and warmed the fastest since records began. Now, to put it in perspective, the report says the amount of heat we've put in the world's oceans in the past 25 years equals 3.6 billion Hiroshima atom bomb explosions. This measured ocean warming is irrefutable and is further proof of global warming. There are no reasonable alternatives aside from the human emissions of heat trapping gases to explain this heating. So 3.6 billion atom bomb explosions. We are now at five to six bombs of heat each second. So it's as if we were, we were igniting that many atom bombs every single second of every single day and the ocean is heating up more and more and more. So what effect does that have? Well, it says the price we pay is the reduction of ocean dissolved oxygen, the harm marine lives, strengthening storms, and reduced fisheries and ocean related economies. However, the more we reduce greenhouse gases, the less the ocean will warm. So this is super important and thankfully in the past couple of years, people have started to focus more on the effect of the ocean in climate change, but also the effect that climate change has on the ocean. The ocean is heating up disproportionately more than the air, but the ocean has a limit. It can only heat up so much along the way tons of damage will be done. And for the, the, the huge number of people, literally billions every day whose protein intake is dependent on the products of the ocean, that's significant. But at some point the ocean will be tapped out. It will no longer be allowed or no longer be able to absorb some of the excess heating that we're generating. And that's when you have an acceleration in the air. And so things have been proceeding, but again, we always say it is not a linear process and it is not a constant process. There are going to be tipping points. The ocean is a big one and it can only sustain so many atom bombs worth of heat being added on a daily basis. There's also been some really bad news recently of more and more ocean life, including whales you know, washing on shore with their bodies filled with plastic. So aside from the heat, we're putting a lot of other terrible things in the ocean. We need to think about that too. Thank you for watching this clip from The Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.